can't we engineers make India's own Google? With the help of great professors in IITs and students collaboration, I am thinking about it. I'm glad that you are thinking about this. Well, how do you make a Google? First of all, you need a good idea. You need a good, uh, you need all the infrastructure. You need, you need to, a good idea is not enough. You need investments. You need funds. You need angel investors to recognize the fact that you have a good idea. And then they need to invest in you and in your work and give you the means and the funds and the and the resources needed to take your idea to the, to the next level. That's how Google was well, that's how Google was built. Two students came up with this idea of semantic search. And then they took it forward and they were desperately short of cash. They needed cash for, for building an array of computers that could hold all this, all this data. And uh, they needed a lot of funds for that. And they got lucky that angel investors invested in them and they kept on getting more investments. And that's how this giant company was founded. That was the genesis of the company that eventually became this global giant. In India, we don't have the angel investment ecosystem, right? We don't have a Silicon Valley kind of place where there will be so many investors and there will be all this... Uh, uh, all these engineers who can interact with each other and, and get ideas from each other and all that. And in India, the laws and the system is such that it is very non-conducive to entrepreneurship. The moment you become, uh, you start doing good, there'll be all kinds of extra fees that you will have to pay to various politicians, etc. Any entrepreneur knows this in this country convenience fees or whatever you call them, you know. So the entire system is basically set up against entrepreneurship. That's why you have all these companies like Flipkart, etc. that are based outside of India. They operate in India, but they are based out of India because they do not want to be uh, to be subjected to all these problems that entrepreneurs and companies face in India. And that's why India simply doesn't develop, right? Because we have all the talent, but the system is, is loaded against any company like that succeeding. When it comes to the IITs, well, who told you there are great professors in the IITs? I'm not saying they're all bad professors. Maybe 10% of the professors in the IIT are good or great. But I would not say that most of the professors in the IITs are great. All right. And look at the way the IITs are. Go to any IIT, okay? You will find that there are crores of rupees of investments in the IITs, in the auditoriums, and in the washrooms. You have one crore rupee washrooms, very well built, you know, very luxurious. Even the auditoriums are very luxurious. But when you go to the lab, you will see that the equipment is at least 20, 30 years old. It's obsolete. So the people who are running the IITs and managing the budgets and the funds, they are funding auditoriums and washrooms and all that. And they are not funding the technology. They are not allowing the IITs to have the latest cutting edge technology. Everything is 20 to 30 years old. And the attitude of most of the professors, well, it's like they don't want any progress. Unfortunately, I have, to, I have to say this. I think anybody who has tried to do research or a PhD in any IIT knows this. This is what they all face. So it's it's basically, we are breeding mediocrity over there in all the IITs to the greatest extent. There are definitely some shining stars among the professors, but those are few and far between. Overall, you have the reservation system, which is basically the opposite of meritocracy. You may get less marks in the entrance exam, but because of reservations and all of that, you are still given admission to the IITs and all. And the same goes for the appointments of professors and all that. So what the IITs once were, maybe 15 years ago, has been destroyed. The IITs were once in the top 10 around the world in technical institutions and, and research institutions in science and technology. Today, they are nowhere in the top 100 even. So the quality in the IIT is terrible. Most of the professors are mediocre. The equipment is obsolete. 
and the people who are funding and running the iits have the wrong ideas they are they are constructing million dollar washrooms and million dollar auditoriums and neglecting the actual purpose that the iits were built for or meant for and the students you will see the most of them are basically they are just trying to get a degree and get the hell out of india because there's no future here because of the way the system is so that is a state of affairs in the iits uh and overall in the in- indian education system nothing is being done to re- redress this basically we need to revamp the education system from the ground up making some small changes cos- cosmetic changes here and there and this new academic reform that was uh, that was that was instituted last year it's all a joke it's it's pointless it's worthless so what is needed in india is the kind of education reforms that were done in china 30 years ago it's still going on china basically turned their entire education system around especially in the science and r&d field they completely revamped their education system and that's why china is now beginning to lead the world when it comes to ai and quantum computing and superconducting uh, computing and everything else so we don't have great professors in the iits to the most part the students basically they want to leave i mean i don't understand why can't the iits take the lead in for example in building supercomputers india doesn't india has maybe two or three supercomputers in the top 100 supercomputers in the world why can't you have an annual competition in the iits between all the iits of making of of constructing the most powerful supercomputer why can't we do that and give the team that wins a 10 million dollar prize they can use it as seed funding for starting a new uh, venture why can't this sort of initiative be taken up why can't you have this sort of competition among the iits between the iits every year india will leapfrog all the other nations within within just a few years if you have this sort of innovation happening in the iits unfortunately there is no uh initiative like this in the in the iits the professors the administrators nobody cares so this is the reason why india is not doing well in science and, te- and technology the system is built is designed in a manner that hampers any such progress the system rewards mediocrity and that is what needs to change i am very positive about india india has the best talent in the world and we are seeding the world with our talent we are exporting our best talent abroad and they are the ones who are heading microsoft and google and what not today right so what if we just we were able to build a system in india that actually values this talent and rewards this talent india would immediately not immediately within a decade within a generation india would become a superpower so that is the job of the government we can keep wishing we can keep saying but we we don't have the power to change anything we are not in charge of the administration of the iits or the education system we are not in charge of the budgets everything is in the hands of the government it is for them to wake up from their slumber and make some reforms do some reforms quickly 